Well, the challenge for the city and most cities, uh, uh, the city of Austin size, is uh, dwindling resources, especially in parks. Uh, so the city has a lot fewer folks in operation and maintenance to help maintain what we have and also to improve or fix problems that we have in our parks. So what we try to do with, at the Parks Foundation, working with American Youth Works, is try to fill that gap between what needs to be done and what the city can afford to do. You know, on one level, there's the, you could argue that this is really the city's responsibility. It's the taxpayer's responsibility. They want to have parks, they need to pay their taxes and, and have the city people either do it themselves or contract to get it done. Um, what do you think about that argument? Well, you know, it's, it, it, it's definitely the way of the old. Uh, the way we used to be able to do it is we had enough revenue coming in uh, for cities of our size, top 100 cities, to fund that. Um, but what we've seen for all cities, all big cities across the United States, is increased pressure to fund so many different things. And the number one priority for most cities is fire, police, and EMS. And that just takes a bigger, bigger portion of the budget. So we're trying to figure out how to come up, come up with uh, revenue from other sources to try to fill that gap. Uh, because your city dollars are being stretched pretty widely, but not as far as we'd like to see in, in parks. And again, that's the lack of resources, lack of people. Now, the people that are doing this work today from American Youth Works E-Corps, they're getting paid for this. Yes, they are. But you also have volunteers who come out. We do. So uh, what we've done is this is a year and a half long project. We started a year ago in September. And we're trying to uh, use uh, the American Youth Works crew where they're doing very technical projects. So like rock retaining walls, uh, work involving any kind of uh, machinery or any kind of training. And that's where they really kind of excel in terms of going in and kind of rebuilding or rehabilitating areas. What we use volunteers for is to help us like gather lots of raw materials, uh, remove invasive species, non-native trees and plants, help with uh, you know more uh, trail surface resurfacing efforts, that sort of thing. It's a great combination. Quite honestly, the best work days are when we have both out here working together. Um, we had a great work day in, back in April with uh, a group called the Central Texas Trail Tamers, which are just these gung-ho people that can move rocks just as big as our crew can here. So it, a lot of good collaboration. Well, which leads to this maybe counter-argument to the whole deal about the city responsibility and doing it with tax dollars and so on. Uh, this way, members of the community get involved, right. and, and, and they, get, they get to taste it, and they get to take some responsibility for it. Yeah, so, you know, what we really uh, live to do is to try to fill, the, again, fill that gap. Uh, we have 94 community groups that we work with that have adopted parks, and they work hand-in-hand -hand with the Parks Department. So it's not a, a case of the Parks Department not working with us. They usually kind of jump in and work with us. So we have one person that's dedicated to the Greenbelt Trail, and he has an institutional knowledge of the work that needs to be done out here. So when we started this project back in January, we did an end-to-end -end walk, and he pointed out everything that he would like to see done. Uh, and that quickly ran up to about 46 different projects. So that's what we're working on. And when are you going to finish? Uh, we're, uh, we're on uh, task to finish by the G uh, December of this year. Uh, there will be a lot of work still left for volunteers, especially with invasive removal and some more trail tread work, but we're really tackling a lot of the big projects. Uh, the biggest project we've done actually is at Twin Falls where we've rebuilt the stream bank in that area as well. And that took about five weeks for the crew to work on. And we had some volunteer help, but it was heavy industrial strength work that really uh, American Youth Works really lends itself to doing. And what, what, what do we look at in terms of before and after? By the time this project's over with, what are people going to see when they use this area uh, in, in the way of improvement? Um, the big thing they're going to see if you're walking along the trail, you're going to see uh, the trail has been cleared, all the deadfall we've kind of moved out of the area, we've removed a lot of invasive species. We've also improved dramatically the drainage on the trail. A lot of areas where the trail would just puddle and pool, and what we've done is do a lot of kind of drainage improvements there. Uh, the other thing you'll see when you stop at a swimming hole like this or a rock wall is you'll see a lot of retaining wall work. You'll see a lot of improved trails to and from the specific areas, steps up and down, that sort of thing. So overall, it's going to be safer, and it's also going to look a lot more natural. I mean, quite honestly, our goal is to, over time, make you think that we haven't been there at all because it looks as natural as it can. It's, you know, we, we try to get there. Sometimes we have to use a little more concrete and rebar than we'd like to, but the goal is to make it look as natural and nice as possible. Are you using some concrete and rebar out here? Uh, not in this project right here, but we have used it in other areas. So, uh, but we hide it really, really well. Yeah. And and you're proud of what these people are doing? Oh, absolutely. It's 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 a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite places in Austin. Um, I, you know, I think 
it's amazing to see that just the number and different types of activities that go on out here. Everything from rock climbing to paddling, if there was water here, to uh, trail running, to hiking, to biking. And um, it's really great to see it being utilized as well as it is. The downside of it is, is it's being really utilized well, and we need to keep up that, that kind of maintenance. And that's what we're really trying to demonstrate is you can work in kind of a hybrid model with both paid staff and volunteers to maintain and improve an area.